Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's continue our trek through World 2 with Brash's Cabin. Now remember that um, race level that I mentioned before? This guy. Hey, it's the Banana Brain Dixie. Who do you think you're doing? I mean, what do you think you're doing coming up, Brash? <laughs> Didn't read it fast enough. See that riverbank race? You ran that in, I ran that in 115. Yeah, you gotta beat his record in order to unlock something 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 so what I'm gonna do here is go back to Riverside race now that you've seen um, what he I mean why I need to beat that record and what I'm oh shoot I shouldn't have been helicopter twirling Arr, go 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 all I have to do is beat 1 minute and 15 seconds, which is actually pretty easy to beat as long as you keep your pacing going and, keyword and, you keep spinning into enemies, because spinning into enemies increases your speed and that will make things a whole lot easier. So yeah, just keep moving forward, you'll be fine, things will go well. As I said before when I played this level, everything is set up so that you have a really smooth flow forward, basically. Yeah, as you know, it's it's a race level, so makes sense that it would be set up that way. <laughs> just gotta take your, well, you, I wouldn't say take your time, but just make sure that you do obstacles smoothly. Smoothly equals speed, basically. Yeah. Like, that's a nice way to get through those. And yeah, I don't care about the letters. This is just getting to the end of the level. <laughs> yep, made it with ease. And now I'm going to go back over to Brash's cabin because this, this is pretty funny here. Ready? Ready? He was so smug and I beat his record. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> What? You can't have beaten my time. I've held that record for the last two years running. <laughs> you made me so angry. I oh, God. And then he sounds like a Kremlin. <laughs> and what this does is it opens up a cave. Well, not necessarily opens up a cave. It makes a, a log fall down below. And I don't have access to that just yet until... Um, I'll, I'll have access to it after I beat Bobbing Barrel Brawl here, but uh, once I press down after this level, I'll go to another Banana Bird-like cave, so that's why I needed to beat his record on uh, Riverside Race. Anyway, let's play Bobbing Barrel Brawl right now! Ho 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 ho! He 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 he! Oh... Oh yeah... Oh... Such a nice calming music. Destroy that swoopy. Oh, pff, why did I say swoopy? <laughs> this is a booty bird. Oh! Oh, yeah. That critter is in this level. That's a nibbler. And uh, this, uh, this level also has a rather weird move. Like, see that? See how it says LR? L? R. Yeah, but it's not exactly descriptive of that. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is sort of descriptive how it uh, described how, I mean, how it showed how to do that. Because you wouldn't have been able to um, pass that very easily without being able to shoot water. But yeah, you see Ellie has a, a, a special ability that allows it to do stuff like that. It, it may have seemed like it was a, a Rambi replacement at first, but no, no, there's actually a little bit more to it. Um, I need... Can I like shoot it from? Yes, I can. There we go. <laughs> Gotta have water ahead of time for that. So conserve your ammunition, basically. And yes, I'm doing a lot of thinking this part, so uh, that's why I'm being sort of slow with my commentary. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Oh, and that fish is... Did I say that fish's name is Nibla? Well, now he did. <laughs> anyway, I gotta avoid taking a hit, because, you know, I've got... Right after I say, I've got to avoid taking a hit, and I take a hit. The reason why I didn't want to take a hit was because I, you know, I only had one Kong at that moment in time, so... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's do this for realsies now. No more games. Even though we're playing a game. This is serious business right here, right now. 
Me. <laughs> it's so easy to fall off those barrels because of Ellie's um, sort of kind of momentum. Like you slip around a little bit when you land on stuff, so it's it's gonna take me a little bit of practice to, I guess you could say, re get used to this level. It's not like it's uh, something that I am super familiar with because this is like a a one-time dealio level gimmick here, I guess you could say. In that it's uh well, well maybe not one time. I think there's something. Yeah, there's another level that has something like this, but not quite the way this level does it. But what I'm saying is that it's it's not used all that often, so I'm not really used to to doing this. And bloop, there we go, there we go. Yeah, and I already got that bonus area, so don't have to do it again. Oh, please don't move forward. Just aim, what you want to do is aim for wherever its legs are. That's where its landing area is. You know, as it's up in the air like that. Yeah. Anyway, gonna bloop, do that. Just because I can. Oh, and you can make uh, bridges, as you've seen there, by throwing barrels upwards. That's also another thing that's not exactly intuitive. Um, because if you throw the barrels, like, oh, no, I can't show it. Well, I'll be able to show it a little bit later, I'm sure. But if you throw the barrels, like, straight forward, it's going to go too far, and it's just not going to float, and yeah. Anyway, I want this. I really want that. <laughs> what you want to do is, ow! Oh. Gimme, 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 gimme. There, thank you. Shoot it that way. Bounce off the wall. Got the Donkey Kong going pretty easy. Just got to avoid hitting, oh, wait. Is it safe to jump in there? I'm pretty sure it is. Yes! Okay. It's just certain water that has the niblas. And yes, even the metal kegs float. Oh no! My keg despawned. Why? Why would you do that to me? <laughs> Always take advantage of your water when you can. And also refill when you can if you need to. Mm -hmm. Just gotta. Play it safe, play it cool, where... is it safe? Oh. Oh, um... I forgot how to get in there. Do I have to go back from a certain point? Wait, 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 oh, I remember! You have to bounce on those to get high enough and then... fall down onto the barrel. Oh, shoot! I, I might have messed this up, but... Maybe I didn't. Just maybe I didn't. Let's see if it'll work. Oh, I got it to work! Yeah, you need to have that um, falling momentum in order to get into uh, that bonus barrel. This one's really easy. <laughs> you could quite literally do it in just two jumps. And there you go. Uh, and unfortunately, you cannot kill Nibla. Like, see that? Yeah, just no effect whatsoever. Hey, what happened to all my water? Why is my gauge empty? That's... It's blasphemy. <laughs> oh, did I want to do that? Well, I guess I can do that. Um, bloop. It's got a careful... Oh, no, no. 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 Please. Dear Arceus, no. Toughest code. Not your friend. Me. Me. And I, oh shoot, come on, really? <laughs> I should be able to go under here, like that. Isn't that nice? I think that's pretty nice. And where is this barrel going? Who knows? Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait! I did not think that went through. <laughs> did not think that went through at all. Ooh, why is there lag? Why is there lag? I remember that happening in the original game too, so... Yeah, made it. Made it. With all my fur intact. Well, on Kitty Kong. <laughs> Dixie Kong's gonna have to be regenerated. Anyway, I press down there to open up this came cave. This is Arich's horde. We're gonna meet Arich's. Um, I mean, we're gonna just meet Arich very soon, actually. Anyway, Simon says A B A B X. Yeah. And there we go. Another one. To Wrinkly Save Cave. <laughs> now, what I'm gonna do is go over and face a rich's ambush. Though it's not so much an ambush, because you know where you're going into it right here, right now. 
A rich is this level's, I mean, uh, this world's boss. What you gotta do is grab the barrel and go up here, throw it. At, oh wait, I failed. <laughs> I forgot you gotta go like this and when you're below it throw upwards oh I failed only its legs hurt you by the way that's fun so it's not all that difficult of a boss to uh, uh, avoid altogether until you get to a certain phase of the battle and you definitely want to have Dixie for this because she makes this a whole lot easier than Kitty Kong <laughs> I was just using Kitty Kong just for saving a hit basically but I guess I'm gonna end up using Dixie Kong right off the bat here unless I fail. Oh, and yeah, it does throw little green goo balls, as you see there. Gotta look out for the goo balls, because they're bouncy. And uh, eventually it's gonna go super um, Gatling gun goo ball style and shoot. I was a little impatient there. He always does that after he takes two hits. And he's gonna change up his attack pattern once he does it again. So yeah, as you can see here, you have to make sure that your barrel stays safe you know away from its shots and here's where things start getting dicey but it's safe in that corner don't worry <laughs> i don't know about it being safe with the barrel though it's debatable where you can stay safe with the barrel maybe i'll be able to stay safe here maybe we'll see i guess uh, nope doesn't quite work i have to jump over that one that's fine I just have to remember to jump over that one because this, his shooting pattern is the same each and every time he shoots it. So it, it's a predictable boss overall. I just jump over it. That and fail. <laughs> but anyway, I, I would prefer um, having Kitty Kong along for the ride as long as possible, if at all possible. <laughs> Uh, but I'm just gonna do the first couple hits with Dixie Kong here because it's a little bit faster to do it with her, obviously, <laughs> because she carries the barrel above her head. So yeah. And bloop. Now I'm gonna switch because he's gonna start shooting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it always seems safe at this corner here. Well, actually, maybe it would be safer on the left side corner because the uh, the barrel doesn't. I mean, the shots to the left side don't go quite as low as the one on, ones on the right. Anyway, that's how you hit a rich um, if you don't have uh, Dixie Kong. You gotta throw the barrel up at it. It's, it's pretty tricky. <laughs> Bloop. And now what I'm gonna do is grab this and go down here. Now let's see if I can avoid uh, getting the barrel hit. Yeah, I think that works. Uh, well, maybe. I, I don't know, really. Yeah. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> this isn't a hard boss either. I'm just kind of derping a little. <laughs> <laughs> is it safe here for the barrel? Yes? No? Maybe? Okay, it is. Kind of. I win! <laughs> Woo! And I got a Band-Aid. What's this Band-Aid for? Well, you will soon find out. Because we're gonna go over, go over to the next world this part. And in order to go over to the next world... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, I'm not gonna go there just yet. Hold on, I forgot to go to this here. This is Blunder's booth. Uh, another character in the trading sequence. I've been match watching your progress for a while, Dixie. The name's Blunder, but you can call me Mr. Blunder. So, you think you're going to find everything in the game, eh? You don't even know there's a lost world, do you? Oops, I think I just let the cat out of the bag. Yes, you did. Well, he's... Well, okay, maybe he's not a part of the um, a trading sequence, excuse me. He was... He's like the game's hint guy in order for you to be able to find stuff. Like, if we go back in there, he'll give you another piece of advice, I think. Uh, nope, I guess not. I guess maybe he, he explains how to do it a little bit later. Well, anyway, now at this point in the game, you know there's a lost world, but you don't know how to get to it, basically. Anyway, we want to go back over to Funky's Rentals here, because with that patch, we'll now be able to get something else here. A patch. Oh, yeah! This is just what I needed. Just what I needed! Hang on for just a couple of seconds, Dixie, and I'll get you a cool new tub for you to rub a dub dub. <laughs> and he's really working hard at it. I don't know why he needs to do all that for just a patch, but yeah, now we've got a hovercraft. And what can we do with a hovercraft? We can now go over rocks. Oh yeah, like these rocks right here. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Uh, waterfalls, however, you can't go up. 
unfortunately. But we can go over here for now and go to Kong Cave. Yep, another one of these. Green version. A, X, B, X, B, E, 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 E. Yeah, they get they add one each time you go to one of these, so um, their difficulty is dependent on the order that you find them in, I guess. <laughs> but they're all basically the same overall. It's a game of Simon Says. Anyway, with this boat, we now have access to this whole area here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness, there's two worlds open to us. I think what, I'm, what you want to do is go over to this world, though, to uh, Cotton Top Cove, because I think it's easier than uh, this one over here, at least in my opinion. Uh, Mechanos, yeah, that's the harder one, in my opinion. And uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna think I'm, mm, well, yeah, I'm gonna think I'm gonna play one more level here. First, I'm gonna go to Blue's Beach Hut. Oh, he's so sad. Uh, hello there, Dixie. How are you? My name's Blue. B -b Pleased to meet you. You didn't have brought... Oh, I can see you haven't. Never mind. What does he want? Well, one of the things in the trading sequence a little bit later on. But that's not important. For now. That's where I, what I was looking for. Bounty Bay. Yeah, that's a pretty mean secret. Yep, Simon says. <laughs> B X Y Y Y A B X Y Y Y A And there we go. Oh, the later ones, they're gonna be so mean to us. So, so mean to us, because there's gonna be so many of them. Anyway, this buoy is Baza's blockade. Ready? Let's start. We're gonna get a Kitty Kong back right at the start, and look at this, it's a water level! And it's awesome! So very awesome! This is Baza, by the way. They Because they move in a straight line, they are a quote-unquote blockade. Um, as much as I like the uh, underwater levels in Donkey Kong games, or I mean Donkey Kong Country games for their atmosphere, they're pretty douchey in the way they hide stuff. <laughs> like, for all you know, you might be able to go through this coral and there might be a secret that's important to find and yeah it's it's not the most friendly of sorts and yeah I've been stuck at a lot of these underwater levels in Donkey Kong Country games uh, even though I um, even though I play them a lot because the, you know the the sides they just look they look like they are all the same basically <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of hard to tell where there might be a secret unless there's some sort of cue like a, a banana or something like that but Yeah, oh, no, 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 not gonna happen. Nope, never gonna happen because I've got that bonus coin and I never have to play this again <laughs> and Why do you poop me out behind the Baza blockade? Why? Just why? <laughs> <sighs> Just gotta be mean to me, huh? Oh, as you notice, they come through those holes in the uh, coral reef there. Oh, shoot. So you can tell where their, uh, where their lines are. So, yeah. It's not really... So they're not really, like, surprise enemies or anything like that. I'm more worried about where the secrets of this level might lie. <laughs> oh, yes. The secrets. Hopefully there aren't any of those coral... Um, I mean, things hidden in the side walls. In this level I really really hope so <laughs> oh, I kind of spawned those bazas at the wrong timing but still got through it mm -hmm. oh no don't like going down through them because there's, there's less way to see ahead oh yeah that worked out especially since I've only got one hit left Arr. Arr, I say Arr. or are like a pirate what's here Bear coin. Not all that important. <laughs> well, I suppose I need 50 of them. Well, at least 50 of them. But, uh, yeah. Oh, no. Don't I need Unguard to get over there safely? And I think there is... Unguard... Here we go. Yes! It's all coming back to me. <laughs> 
Okay, so what we need in on guard for here is to get past the blockade, be or not. <laughs> oh shoot, why would I do that? Just why? I was there. I was right there. <laughs> Levels like this sure are a lot more intimidating without that midpoint barrel, aren't they? <laughs> Ah, I'm so sad I took a hit here of all places because, yeah, well, anyway, I know I can sneak through here now, you know, without having to worry about bashing Baza, but I still don't like sneaking through here. Oh, by the way, um, on guard tends to automatically shish kebab whatever is in front of it, so gotta watch out, <clears throat> gotta watch out for that. Anyway, let's bash the baddies. So, you guys are inside there. Why would you do that? There's Bazas who like to hang out in there. Are you, are you stealing their home? Do you like wrecking homes? You know what? Be easier probably doing that. <laughs> oh shoot, maybe not. Mm -hmm. They give me a lot of time to do this, so I don't know why I'm rushing so hard. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Woo! Completed. Although, although I still have to look for a um. Uh, coin somewhere in this level, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be relatively fine overall. Hopefully. <laughs> Just as long as I don't take a hit, everything everything will be fine. But now it's not fine, because I have to restart the level from the beginning, I'm gonna cry! Oh. I would like to get on guard if I can. Because it's very possible that I'll need it. Like, first I'd like to explore this area. Or maybe this was just a shortcut. Yeah, it looks like it was just a shortcut. <laughs> oh well. So anyway, the reason why I want on guard here is because, at the very least, I'll be able to take it to a signpost and get a prize from it. But, I think I need it for something again. Not, not just... Oh, hello, Booty Bird. I mean, uh, uh, Bounty Bass. Why did I say Booty Bird? Well, it is like the fish version of the Booty Bird. So maybe that's why. <laughs> oh, boy. Please don't hurt me. Oh, there's G. Oh, and oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. I remember now. Coin is out here. You need to... Yeah. Uh, this is kind of awkward. <laughs> Can I like... Yes. Voila! What's down here? Nothing, just a hindrance. <laughs> Alright! 100 percented! And with that, I'm gonna end off this part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.